Hello. What's up, people? Hopefully everyone's doing okay this uh, fine, not so fine Sunday evening. It's been pissing down here for like days. Um, but it's winter, what do you expect? So Friday night over on Yanti's channel, we had a very interesting ending to our uh, I Spy Pit campaign. Everybody died, spoiler alert. Joking. It was great. Go check it out. Um, it'll be on Yanti's YouTube sometime soon, but make sure you definitely check it out. It was a lot of fun. Um, of course, the uh, clip, little bit of a cliffhanger on Wednesday night from the Curse of Strahd with the return of Zadriel, but not quite in the way that they had hoped. Uh, we'll pick that up next next Wednesday, or well, this coming Wednesday, so make sure you're around for that as well. So without any further ado, we will uh, turn over to our storyteller for our recap from uh, last week. Take it away, Mr. Mr. Bears. Righty. So the hounds met at their awarded haven last game. It was the beginning of a new night. They discussed some of their findings and began to hatch a plan of what to do next. Echo mentioned that she had let Billy go as a way to bring the enemy to them. Jackson had to make a call to the sheriff and give him an update on which of all <clears throat> give him an update which all of the others managed to listen in on with their various abilities. He decided to keep quiet about the Billy situation for now, however. Uh, Pip tried to force a vision in which he succeeded. Though still new to his powers, he was only able to get a short burst. Mary Wade, who he looked up, seemed to know he was there, spoke to him within the vision, warning him that something called the SI had her. Um, with all of them armed with the information that Billy and someone called Jenny, who were going to be off meeting a woman called Sarah at the birth, it was decided to complete the meeting. Uh, Echo said she would attend in Billy's absence, and, Jack and Aaron, Jackson and Aaron tagged along to keep watch. Though Echo didn't seem thrilled about Aaron's involvement, uh, Zane and Echo, sorry, Zane set Echo up with tracking, microphone and small camera, which she pocketed. Um, but when he activated the tracking, it seemed to fail, well, not long after the activation. Uh, Zane set himself up to overwatch the meeting in the berth, utilising local security cameras, and he was able to inform the field team via text any relevant information which would come in handy. The meeting was quite heated. Sarah's demeanour was aggressive and to the point, but Echo was able to show Sarah that she was no pushover, and just as it looked like the discussion was over and Sarah was about to exit, a shot was fired, uh, carefully and closely missing, missing both parties. The second shot rang out in the madness, and everyone reacted quickly, Jackson returning fire with a pretty accurate shot, glancing the weapon of the shooter. Um, Aaron running at full speed with Munro, his dingo at his heels, getting to the roof as the assailant was retreating on the other side. Zane texts through some added information, though some of the cameras in the area were fading in and out. Zane and Pip then mentioned about grabbing popcorn and watching the show. Uh, Echo grabbed Sarah and used her skills to protect them and to get them to relative safety, making Sarah aware that her initial opinion of Echo may have been a misjudgment. Meanwhile, Aaron continued the chase of the shooter, with Jackson making up distance quickly behind, passing the ladies. Aaron saw the runner leap to a rooftop, so he left Munro there and did the same. He was able to get his claws into the rear flank, or buttocks, and <laughs> knock the woman down. Um, <laughs> she, There was a small scuffle, and she finally gave it up. Uh, when Aaron asked who she was, she simply stated, I'm Jenny Lawson, who the fuck are you? Welcome once again to the nightlife of Melbourne, where we find ourselves at around 11.30ish in the PM, following Echo and Sarah, who are headed towards the storage shed in the distance, where the sound of Munro's barking can still be heard. At this point, a light rain begins to fall and thunder rolls in the distance. Echo and Sarah, I'll leave it to you. Wow. As I'm chasing after Echo, I'm going to get on my phone and I'm going to turn around and make a phone call. Okay. Compromised. Who... I'll be calling Billy. Uh, not Billy. John. John, yes. Yeah. Compromised. Clean up crew. Both meeting point and 
vantage points. I also want S investigation team out as well. He answers, he says, uh, yes, ma'am, uh, already on the way. There's been some news reports of uh, shots in the berth. We figured we'd better head straight there. Okay, thank you for that. Um, keep, pa keep me in t uh, tag check, and then I'll hang up. Sweet. Uh, how far behind me do you think she might be if I was booking it toward... The dog barks is what we were, I was heading for. Sweet. If, are you using any ability or are you just running at hard pace? I don't have an ability that makes me run faster, so hard pace running. Just hard pace running. Okay, so if I get both of you to roll a stamina athletics and we'll just see who's quicker. Uh, stamina. <laughs> That'd be none. <laughs> <laughs> Two successes so, and I failed on my hunger. Okay, both success, so that's fine. Um, so it's good as gold. You're both running at a good pace, but uh, I guess dressed as you are, maybe not not in runners, not in running shoes. Um, even on the phone, Sarah's a little quicker than you, Echo. But yeah, you you were dressed for a meeting, not for a, not for a chase. But you guys are you're getting there. You're just a meter or two behind her, Echo. But you did, you would have heard her phone call. Yeah, that's what I wanted to know. I'm going to book it towards um, what I think Aaron might be. Yeah, and you guys can clearly hear the, the dog giving its barking. It's not incessantly yapping on and on. It's just giving a couple of barks. Maybe in concern of what's happened as Aaron and this assailant have jumped up on the rooftop. You guys head past a few trees, past the original building that uh, the shots came from and towards the dog. You can see in the distance now about um, probably three to 500 meters away. All right, do I see Aaron? Uh, about 300 meters, I probably don't see him yet, do I? Don't see who, sorry? Aaron. Uh, Aaron, no, he's up on the rooftop. So even if once you get there, it's gonna to be tough to see him. I'm gonna yell out for Aaron. Aaron! Okay, Aaron, there... you can probably hear a calling in the distance. I'm just going to yell out, um, yeah, a little busy up here. Is there any way to climb to the roof from where we would be? Uh, there's, these sheds don't have a lot around them. The shed the shooter come from had a, it was quite a tall one. It had some like laddering and stairwell beside it. The next few sheds along sort of come down to that single story sort of level. There's some boxes and barrels that you could probably uh, arrange to get up there if you have to. Alright, I'm gonna be quickly looking around to see if I see any more shooters and I'm gonna try and get up there any way I can. Okay, so I'll be... looking around to see for any more shooters will be excuse me, man, I've got <coughs> um, me. looking around investigation. What's awareness please? That would be none. <laughs> so as far as as far as you're concerned, you've had a good look around and you're just heading up, you're trying to st stack some boxes and barrels. Sarah, you'd see her doing this as well. Yeah. Um, she'd probably be looking around not so much for um, uh, for the shooters. She figures that's gone and done. She's looking for actual people that could be witnessing whatever they did. Okay, same thing. I'll get you to roll a wits awareness. Wits awareness. That's one success, and I failed on my blood dice again. Got, okay. I'm up to three hunger. You are. So the last one was, even though you failed on your blood dice, wouldn't have been a hunger, but this one is because you failed the cheat this time. So glancing around, as the rain's starting to fall, you're not noticing much. That You know, look around, get a little bit of rain in the eyes, and then just decide to carry on doing what you're doing with Echo if you're heading to the roof as well. I would be, because... Yeah. Yep, I'd be... Look, I'd probably see if there's a way to go. I'll probably go and climbing up whatever I can climb up. Okay, Nothing sweet. too taxing, just if I can't climb it, I can't climb it. Good as gold. It, it doesn't, it's not rocket science. You can stack boxes and barrels eventually to get to the um, rooftop. It's going to take a bit of time. This is all going on while um, Jackson and Aaron have sort of been up there doing that last little, like the last segment of the last game. So we will move to Jackson and Aaron if 
just before you guys continue there. Um, Aaron, up on the storage shed, on top of the uh, the corrugated iron there, as the rain begins to fall lightly, you've just asked the question and got the answer. This is Jenny. Munro's still barking in the background. Are you holding on to Jenny? Uh, yeah, I had my hand around her throat. That's right, you did too. Yep. Um, okay. And I still got feral claws active. Good so. as Probably not a good idea for her to move. She's standing pretty still. Answered your question, and that was about it. Um. And who the hell do you work for? I'm asking Jenny. Yeah. That is. She. Uh, she's not holding your hand or anything like that. She's just got her hands at her side, and she says, "Well." That's really interesting, isn't it? Who do I work for? Who do you work for? Uh, myself. Um, yeah, kind of a lone wolf. What do you need? Why did you uh, shoot at my good friend? Which and one's your friend? Good question. I don't know yet. <laughs> uh, Jackson, you're hearing this. Are you doing anything yeah. there? Hey, Aaron. Stake this bitch and get it back to the safe house. We're going to have cops and all sorts of people here real soon. We need to get off this roof. Yeah, and so from my belt, I pull out a stake and jab it through her heart and then throw her over my shoulder and Okay, so you're going to you're gonna attempt to jam a stake through her heart? Yep. Uh, what have you got with you as a stake? An actual stake or you can Yeah, I've stake? actually got a stake in my back. Well, I will, okay. it's, got, it, it's, it's more of like a dagger type, type of a thing, but... It, looks like a stake okay so she's going to resist seeing the stake as you as you're going to your backpack and reaching for a stake she's not having a bar of it she's going to resist um so i'll get you to roll if it looks like she's going to resist uh, jackson would definitely move in and help restrain her gonna help okay and so also throw up daunt at the same time uh so with his help you'll get an extra dice to your pool so it'll be uh i'll say strength brawl because there's going to be some tussle there so get an extra dice from jackson's help and jackson you've got daunt up as well yeah basically just saying saying to not a good idea to try and struggle here and wait a minute i just have to check one thing because i think feral weapons actually gives me a plus two to brawl yeah it probably does too so better get my dice out yeah uh, that's a very big pull <laughs> hopefully i get more successes than you <laughs> Oh, I've got good. So I'm five successes. Ah, oh, I've already bet you there. Oh, got seven. <laughs> nice. Seven. So, and and nothing on your hunger. Ah, uh, no, that was a success. Oh, well. sweet as it's good. Um, so yeah, uh, Jackson, your your daunt is up, and do you, do you say anything specific? I just did tell her it's not a good idea to struggle. Okay. You got some she, talking to do. She grabs onto the hand of, of you, Aaron, with that stake coming down. You push, you push, you push. You're stronger than her, but she has stopped the force of the stake going in. And right at that stage, you've, you've wedged it right on her heart. It's pushing blood as she's holding it off. And you guys, and Jackson, you spot it first. Red dots, Aaron's chest, three of them. She says, I wouldn't advise this. Um, I'm going to hit them both in a tackle and attempt to knock them both off the roof. Aaron and... Oh, okay, you want to knock the genie and Aaron both off. Basically hit them both and go off the roof in the opposite direction. Okay. Uh, I'm going to jump to Zane for a second. Get you to roll for the jump. Uh, it's not a jump. I just want to hit them and literally fall off the roof. Down oh, so to you're the running street. at them, knocking yeah. them off. Okay. So, so go strength... Athletics. There's two people you're going to try and knock off the roof by surprise, so it shouldn't be too bad. Looking for four successes. Uh, that'll be five successes. Five, nice. So you three, you see these three dots on Aaron's chest, and you like just run at them both. Um, Aaron and Jenny both. 
bam, charged into. You're not resisting, Aaron. <laughs> uh, no, I wouldn't even know what was happening. Yep, sweet. That's all right. That's a good point. You're preoccupied. So two of you fall to the ground, and you're going to fall. Oh, the height all of us would go. I'd go with them. All, you're going yeah. with them as well. So all three of you going to the ground, um, off the side of the building. It's at this stage. Echo and Sarah, you'd be just climbing up the other side to see Jackson, poof, and they've gone off the other side. Um, taking a fall. All three of you are going to roll, and I, that's including Jenny. Jenny, Jackson, Aaron, going to have to roll again for landing. So I'm going to say uh, dexterity, survival. Uh, would Cat's Grace help me in this situation? Cat's Grace would, and also Jenny has something as well. The, uh, automatically pass deck series athletics based on needing to keep my balance. Okay, sweet. Well, you've, you've already, you're falling, so you're not trying to keep your balance, you're trying to land um, without taking too much damage. Yeah. So I'll, so, I'll still roll it then. Oh, landing crats, Grace. Yeah, so I'd say, yeah, I'd say it would help you in that res respect, trying to get back on your feet from that small distance. I got the best I could get. She's three. Okay, that's good. Uh, you will just take a single point of superficial damage, and she takes nothing. She lands perfectly uh, on her feet. Uh, as that, does Jackson. So, what was the roll? Sorry, uh, you're, you're not going to make me roll for it. No, no, your cat's okay, racing. Cool. It's fine for you. Um, so she lands on her feet. So does Jackson. She now reaches behind her um, jacket and pulls out a pistol, points it at you, Jackson. Uh, Everyone's sort of within five feet of each other. I'm going to blink straight into her and stake her in the heart in the process. You pulled a stake out? Yep. Well, not the stake, it would be one of my dad, one of my um, karambits straight through the heart. Just going to make a roll here. Would the stake that I was already trying to stake her with still be in her chest? It didn't push through enough to get anything. You, you were drawing blood, but not actually pushing through enough. I have enough. to make a rouse check for the blink, too. Uh, yep, make your rouse check. Success. Whew, that was lucky. It was almost a failure. <laughs> it rolled over. All right, you get the stake. So between the two of you trying to stake her, you get the stake in, you're pushing, and boom, she drops down. Uh, Echo and Sarah, you're up on the roof now after seeing this happen. There are red dots waving all around you. You can see them on your chests, each other. If you're looking at each other, three on each. I'm going to go for fuck's sake and I'm going to swan dive off the roof. <laughs> Everyone's going crazy tonight. Swan is there any water the... around? That any, I can any water yeah. around that I can, or is it actually just pure concrete? Yeah, most of it's just concrete and there's a little <laughs> bit of grass, sort of dirt, um, with like a uh, small stone sort of area beside the sheets. So it's going to, it's going to hurt it's a lot. Hurt, but I'd rather do it than, all right, what do I have to roll? <laughs> I'll swan dive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you're diving off the roof. So I would say same thing. I'll say uh, dexterity survivals. See what your landing's like. Oh well, that's gonna suck. And, <laughs> Echo, what are you doing here? Uh, I see that if I see the dots, I'm gonna look at the barrels, and they probably cast a shadow down across the building. I'm gonna slip into that shadow because I do believe my shadow cloak was still up from. Yes, you did have shadow cloak up when you walked into the trees. Yeah, so I'm gonna let the shadows envelop me and I'm gonna hide down there and make my way down. Okay, sweet. And I had one success. One success. Yeah, so you're gonna take a superficial damage as well as you hit the yeah. ground. Um, you swan dive off quickly and you guys actually hear shots into the roof. Ting, ting. Two shots go off, but they miss you. However, you hit the ground hard. It's, um,. Wild out here at the minute. I'm gonna jump to Zane and Pip. Zane, you can see this going on in your cameras. The girls get to the roof. Jackson, you, you see the red dots. Jackson sort of bowls um, Jenny and Aaron off the roof. You can see also in the grass area now. There's some people sort of gathering around with cell phones, beginning to head the way of the sheds where everyone was running. Um, I mean, there was loud shotgun uh, loud gun noises so you're going to assume people are going to start gathering but on your camera feed saying you've got to fuel them up uh, can you make a what's an awareness check for me please and pip you can do the same if you're watching the screens
Pip got one success. Pip, you like the, the nice red lights that are flashing on Sarah and Echo's sort of neck, chest areas. You're like, hey, little, little red dots like my cat. <laughs> uh, so the one with the two stars either side, that's a just a double? Uh, it's a single unless you get two of them. Yeah, you need two of them for it. If you get okay. two, it makes it four. And I got two. So that's two four successes. successes. Oh, you got two of those symbols. Okay, yep, so four successes. Well, no, I got a um, normal red hunger dice, which was a success, success and a uh, black one, which was a... So he's saying you got two successes in the whole Oh, okay. 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 Sweet is. Um, two successes is what he needed. So even though Pip sees the red dots and he's not thinking too much of them, Zane, you spot more than just the red dots. There's flashes on another screen camera you're looking at. About three blocks away, you're catching the edges of police lights headed in the direction of the berth. With that, I instantly start sending text messages to whoever has a mobile phone in the area. <laughs> so one to Aaron, one to Jackson, and yeah, you know, I mean, you know, Pip, uh, you know, Echo doesn't have hers. She's left it behind. What about yes. me since I turned around and said I was there? Yeah, you know Sarah's there? Yeah, and Sarah as well. <laughs> okay, so that's simple. All three of you, as this is going on, getting texts. Um, what well, are you saying uh, in the text, Zane? Uh, um, one of them won't receive a text because they got my number blocked. <laughs> <laughs> um, get out of the area, police on their way. All right, sir. Well, Jackson, Aaron, you get these texts. Jackson, you've just put the state through uh, Jenny. I don't even acknowledge that my phone's even gone off. I just look up at um, Aaron and say, sorry, dude, we got to fucking go. Let's get this bitch out of here. Um, where's your bike? Uh, Is it close? Um, it's by the park. How far away are you we from I'm, the park? I'm a block away. Uh Get us here, bike. Get her back to the safe house. We've got to get out of here now. Uh, you take her because uh, a body on the back of a bike is going to be more Fickle. visible. <laughs> Am right. I anywhere near them? Uh, yes. Yeah, so, so I would say, given given that moment of time, you guys would have got down, hurt yourself a little bit, and probably <laughs> come together. Yep. Okay. So, all four of I'm, you together. I'm going to see Jenny. I'm going to see. Jackson and someone that I have a suspicion who it is, but not sure. And then there's Echo. I'm going to look at him and go, You got a car nearby? My car's who close enough. And who the fuck are you? This we ain't got time, time for this. We ain't got time. Do you need a car? I've Tell got a fine. car. I'm good. All right. I'm out of here. I'm Aaron, I'll see, you back at, I'll see you back at the house. See I don't know who the fuck you are, but. Obviously, we need to fucking talk at some point. Pretty much as soon as possible, I need to speak to her. Let's go. Please, now. Zane's as, told us. As I'm going back to the bike, I go past it and I say, are you okay? Are you okay? I kind of, I think. I will yeah. stop and grab my rifle uh, as well. Up on the other roof, okay? Yeah. You got oh. her body on your back, dude. Yeah, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to put her in the trunk and get my rifle before I leave. Yeah. I'm not leaving evidence at, at the scene. I'm not dumb. <laughs> okay, so you've got a fair distance to cover again. So you're looking at, um, I don't know, it's, it's about a thousand meters, mm -hmm. I think I said, across the park to that. So I will, be, I will be tearing across here as quickly as possible, sticking to as many of the shadows as I can, but okay. trying to avoid um, people as well. And... I have Sarah, to climb fences and cross sort of businesses or people's properties, I will. Okay, and Sarah, you would have a vehicle nearby with your people. Um, oh, it, it wouldn't take long either. You're going to get a phone call back as you guys are heading back towards your vehicle. Echo, you've bought a vehicle, vehicle as well, I believe. I'm going to be stealthing from everybody trying to just get to the Jeep is what I'm trying to do. Okay, so you, yeah, unless they're Unless you guys are looking for her, she's stealth out of the way. So anyone looking for her needs to, and I believe they need to make a check, don't they? Yeah, I'm, I'm more concerned about getting off the street. Sweet. Trusting so that Echo can look after herself. 
Okay, and Aaron, I'm you're... concerned about following the body that has Jen, like Jenny. So. Okay, so Sarah, you're following Jackson. Aaron, you're onto your, off to your bike. Echo, you're off to your car. It's easy enough done. Now I need to make a roll. So you say Sarah's following me? Correct. She's following the body. Is that what you said, Sarah? Yeah, I'm following Jenny. Wherever Jenny goes, that's where she's going at the moment. She wants to interrogate her. Um, yep. Jackson's not going to let you in his car. Just let she's you know. not going to ask it. She's going to turn around and say, I need to go where you go, and I'll have my not, own ride. Not going to fucking happen, lady. I don't know who the fuck you are. That's fine. Good luck keeping up. you are. And I'm going to get on my phone, and I'm going to put in a phone call to try to work out which one I would do. Yeah, I won't put in a phone call because I can't work out which one I would use. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'd be um, putting a phone call to Zane, I reckon. Okay. Zane, your phone goes. It's Sarah. Yeah, I'm not waiting around, I'm just going. No, that's yeah. good as gold, Jackson. You load your car. She's st you're standing outside his car, Sarah. I've, he's, if he's gone, I'm just going to be calling Zane. Okay, sweeties. Zane. Okay. Yes. H holding the phone out from your shot. <laughs> Not in the mood, Zane. Uh, I okay. need to know this license plate number and I'm going to give the one that I saw. Yep. I need to <laughs> follow this car. I need address or wherever it's going to go. I need you to follow up on the security cameras. So, Zane, you, the number she gives you is Jackson's own car. <laughs> She wants to follow Jackson's car. She's given you his number plate. Yep, okay. I'll get onto I, it. I want to know where it is now, so you will have me information for me every 10 minutes. Got it? Okay, got it. Fine. Fine will be with me. And I'll... Sweet. Right as you hang up, your phone goes off again. It's, um, it's your right-hand man. What's going on? He, and I'll just get to my piece of my paper. He says, uh, two of our guys in the tree is down. All right. She's used acid rounds by the looks. Um, put them into torpor and then chopped off their head with some sort of knife. Maybe, maybe a sword. It's quite a clean cut. Okay. Uh, do me a favor. Get a get a print out. I want it sent to Marco. I want to know who these fuckers are. Okay. Um, and I want you, if I ever find her, we should probably extend the courtesy to Miss Munro. I don't think that was Billy. We need to find out who the fuck that is. Uh, yes, ma'am. I'll get these bodies cleaned up straight away, and uh, the cops are just about here. I can hear the sirens now. You, you ready to get me out of here? I've got, I'm uh, going to be following someone. Yep, I'll send uh, I'll send Warren with a car. Okay. No worries. He hangs up. You know straight away. This, they're already there on site. A car comes for you pretty quick. Yep, I get in. Okay, and <sighs> Zane, uh, do you give her any information? Yep, I give her information. But it's going to be the scenic route. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> would would she know that she's being bullshitted? Um. So he's basically he's, he's. I mean, you're expecting him to trace a number plate and give you directions of where it's headed. So, if as long as he doesn't send you around in circles, I. I what sort of scenic route, Zane? You tell me. It, it won't be a direct line there. It'll be out and around. To, okay. Um... Sarah, make a. <coughs> Make a intelligence awareness check for me, please. That is, oh, two successes. And <laughs> you get the feeling after that sort of first few minutes of driving, going out, and then you sort of pull back in. And you sort of get the feeling he's sent you on a longer path than what's needed. Either that or. Or Jackson, or this person you're following, is taking a really weird route. <laughs> um, Aaron, you get back to your bike. 
it's the rain's coming down a lot heavier now nice for someone on a bike you get to it at first and i take it munro's back with you now too at first it seems normal it's just standing up where you had it but as you get up to it you can see there's extra red on that bike and as you get closer you can now see clearly the word reapers is sprayed right across over your paint job they've smashed the lights it seems rideable it just seems vandalized uh, okay i forgot this was their territory um i'll get my revenge later <laughs> so you jump on the bike and go nonetheless yeah uh, like I say, well, it's it's vandalized not wrecked so it goes yeah. all right but um your sand's a headlight and it's a bit tough you're, you're riding by street lights yeah. well actually i still got beast eyes active uh, eyes of the beast so i want to be oh. able to see fine though no. so anyway, it won't make so. a difference to you. it'll just look <laughs> awkward for the other traffic yeah <laughs> all right and do you head back to the hounds domain uh actually i'd head towards a car wash to try to <laughs> get the shit colors off um okay. because that's what i would do not too hard to find i mean yeah it's, it's a busy city there's there's um service stations and car washes everywhere so you get to a car wash pretty quickly and trying to get the spray paint off it's fairly fresh it's and it's that light rain it doesn't take too much effort to get the bulk of it gone it's going to have a little bit of extra buff tomorrow yeah, that's okay. It's, 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 it's more to get get the red off and um, have it so the coppers don't pull me over <laughs> <Yeah>. again. <laughs> so you know with, with no indicators and no lights that are working, you're going to have to probably keep a good eye out. Yeah. Um, actually, is there a shop nearby that uh, is friendly to me I would say and you are uh, so uh, I would say friendly to you specifically maybe not but friendly to some of your kind your your clan yes uh, okay I'll head towards them because I need to get the bike fixed because unfortunately this this area is is anarch territory so it doesn't mean you can't go there it just means they're more friendly to them but yeah okay so you head to that and you've doesn't take you long to find that it's that old case of you guys <coughs> know where you keep things um it's sort of an open all night nearly all night chop shop type scenario um and you roll in there they don't the people who see you don't look too happy and they sort of one guy steps out in his overalls and he's kind of wiping down a muffler and he says as you pull up, he says, yeah, what do you want? I uh, need my wheels fixed. I had a run in with some reapers. He sort of nods and, oh yeah, all right, what is it? What do you want specifically? Just to get it back on the road so the coppers leave me alone. He says, bring it through, we'll have a look. He has a quick scan at it and he notices just like you noticed mostly just lights that you need to get it going um tells you to bring it in and so you're going to be there for roughly an hour and a half to two hours i'd say uh i send the i send the uh a message to jackson saying gonna be slightly delayed due to inconsiderate anuses touching my bike <laughs> inconsiderate anuses that's what you text yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'll just make a note of that. Not yeah. the text, the how long it's going to take to fix it. <coughs> Jackson and would definitely with... reply. <laughs> It'd be question mark, question mark. Um, okay. <laughs> right. Uh, Zane, we're going to talk <clears throat> to you for a second before we hit Jackson. Uh, and and one, one more. I'd also send a text to Zane saying, I want any footage that has my bike. I want to know which fuck has touched it. I know number. I know who. 
All right. Um, Echo will get to you shortly, but Zane, uh, you see in your camera, now that everyone's sort of exited the park area, are you going to follow anyone in particular through the camera routes, or are you have you had enough for the night? Target. Hey, who are you talking to? Give you a target. <laughs> so, who who can I see? What can I see? Well, so you would have seen Jackson with the body dumped into the trunk, and he had a back and forth with Sarah, which you wouldn't have heard, just would have seen, and then he disappeared up onto the roof to go because you couldn't have the top view of his what he was doing, but he was going to click his gun. However, you would have just seen him disappear. You would have seen Echo just disappear completely, and she's gone off camera view. Um, which, in this scenario, you weren't really seeing her much anyway. Um, Sarah, you saw follow Jackson, and now she's gone to another car and, and is headed off after Jackson's car's left, and Aaron's walked back to his bike, and then he's basically ridden off to get it repaired, which, depending on who you follow, will depend on what you see next. So Pip leans into the cameras, he's like, it's over, there's nothing happening. They've left us on a cliffhanger. I hate cliffhangers. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead, Zane. Uh, so, no doubt I've received this message from Aaron about his bike. So, I'll just try and find his bike. All right. So, <clears throat> trailing through cameras, you and I'm not going to make you roll for it because it's something you're doing all the time. He, you go through from street to street as he's riding, you, you sort of follow through with him. He eventually ends up still in still in sort of similar territory around the area of, of the um birth um sort of to the side of fisherman's bend i guess he'd end up and he ends up in a like i say an all-night chop shop where he talks to someone and they take this bike inside you can't seem to access any more cameras within the building there all right retrace uh retrace the footage back to before the incident just watching the bike Okay, yeah. So, the bike's parked indiscriminately off the back of the side street. Aaron said out of the way, so it's not at right, right on a right on a main park area. When he said he parked it originally, he put it out of the way. It's 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 out of the way. It's not on a like a main street park, but it's off the side. It's sort of alleyway stop park, not in an alleyway, but to the edge of it. And <clears throat> a bunch of bikes come past on the main stay, about six of them, and they all sort of roll over. One dude sort of doubles back must spot the bike in the street light or something somehow and you see two or three of them decide to double back after this one that doubles back the first one gets up to the bike that's parked there Aaron's bike walks around it a little bit takes a good look points at it seems to be saying something to his mates he's about if you'd have to guess you six foot two uh, he's got sort of long um, shoulder length dark hair and as he's pointing at the bike, he then goes back over to his bike, um, opens a saddlebag and pulls out a, a can. And you can see quite clearly in the digital camera footage, it's got red lid. He pops the red lid off, shakes it up, and just sort of sprays over the side of Aaron's bike. And then he takes to it, just with his fists, just smashes the light, smashes the indicators, and then he kicks in the rear tail light and indicators and the guys next to him are just sort of you know they're having a good time they're having a laugh they get on their bikes and then they leave uh so given that it's digital um what's the definition high def or standard it's it's pretty standard it's not high def but it's, it's standard. Uh, enough to get a number plate read on their bikes yeah 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 so you can probably get two of them the, the rest would have been out of shot um, the one, the guy that did the main smashing, his number plate is 6YF3. And the, the second one is 12X4. I'm only interested in the one. So 6YF3, yeah? 6YF3 is the, the main culprit, yep. Right, so I'll start uh, a search on that bike, the owner of it. Okay. You come up with the. It, it runs a search and it comes up with nothing as far as a name for an owner. 
Okay. It's something to go on. Okay. We will leave you there. Yep. If you've got nothing else you wish to do, Pip. No? All good. Echo. Um, I would have gotten into the Jeep, uh, trying to be casual because I'm imagining people are probably arriving and all kinds of stuff. So I'm trying to kind of blend in with the crowd. Uh, I, do I see any more red lights on me? Uh, no. So as you guys started moving down off the buildings, the red dots have disappeared. You haven't seen any more on you, especially since you shadowed. Um, since those couple of shots rang off through the roof, that's about it. They were silent shots too. They weren't like the loud shots that Jenny had fired or Jackson had fired earlier. So you are safely in your car. There doesn't seem to be anyone following you at this point, uh, unless you're actively searching. Um, I'm going to put my driving gloves on and I'm going to get into my dashboard and I'm going to get this like old ancient flip phone. <laughs> And I'm going to call Sam and uh, say two things. Uh, I need you to make sure Peggy's safe and keep yourself safe. <coughs> and I want to know who was in the park tonight. At okay. Their long birth. Have you called? Have you called Sam? Have you? Yes. Uh, he says, uh, "Okay, ma'am. Uh, so yeah, we're safe." Um, I can give you directions if you like. It's not a hassle. I'll text them to you later. Uh, also, yes, I'll keep safe as well. Uh, in the park in Maribong Birth. Okay, I will note that down then. Uh, and there is some messages here for you too. Uh, of the important type. Okay. Uh, just text them to me and I'll read them when I can. At the, I'm going to the Hound Haven thing. So... Um, ah, okay, more of the important type then. Ah. Do you need to tell me now? Oh, it just... And he sort of... The messages Zane and Jackson had sent the previous nights that you hadn't got, he rattles <laughs> off to you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> Keep me posted. Ah, uh, I gotta go. And I hang Hold up it. and rush to the, uh... Haven. All right, you head to the Haven, so you guys got a little bit of drive ahead of you, anyone who's driving that way. Uh, so, Jackson. So, Sarah, Jackson's you're, you're... not heading Sorry. directly to the Haven either. Just first off. Going to go by no, way. No, nah, I'm going to go by way of um, my own Haven first. And right. catch up with um, Joe on the way, give him, give him a call. Sweet. And to say, so, yeah, okay, you go. Yeah, as you're heading off, you've seen Sarah quite upset, uh, and you're not wanting to take her with you. Uh, you watch her in the rearview mirror as you drive away, um, call up someone, and you, you drive away, seeing that she's. Did I, did I get out. her name and all that at all? Uh, that's a good point. No, I, I don't think I did, did I? You would have had a call, you would recall it though, because Echo did say in the Hound's Haven that you guys were going to meet. Sarah Barnett. She gave her name at that stage no, in the Haven, didn't. I believe. No, she didn't? she didn't. No, never gave the name. No, she didn't. I, I, I purposely didn't. Yeah, yeah. Purposely, okay, in that case, no, you didn't. Sorry, yeah, so I, I didn't get a name. I would okay. appreciate uh, Sarah would have presumed that Jackson would know since they were all together, because she knows who he is because of the security company. Mm. Right. Okay, so uh, no, in that case. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I may have met her in passing, but I'm, I'm, I'm not sure that Jackson would remember who she is specifically. Okay, sweet. No, no worries. So uh, you just know that, that there is a lady and she was trying to get a ride with you and wanted to go with the body, but she doesn't seem, there doesn't seem to be anyone on your tail at this point. Okay. Uh, sorry, so where were you headed? Uh, to my haven first. Your personal haven, yep. Yeah. On the way, I'm going to make two phone calls. Uh, first one will be to Joe. And it'll be, uh, Joe, dude, sorry to ring you so late. Um, Shit hit the fan, bro. We got some got some shit to deal with. I'm gonna need some extra muscle at uh, this okay, address. I'm gonna text your address uh, in a minute. We're gonna need some extra extra muscle. Half a dozen guys, okay, yourself included. Uh, yeah, we're currently at uh, the place you sent us to get the guns. I, How'd I was that going? You. Yeah, not so good. Um, I brought uh, Frank 
myself, Frank Wagner, uh, Gary, and Madeline. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Frank has met final guest, sir. Fucking what? So we were cracking the codes to the gun case, and he must have got one wrong on the uh, where the shells are kept. Um, acid just sprayed in the cloud everywhere. He's uh, he's a mess, sir. He's Dude. a real big mess. Um, right. Are the weapons secured at least now? Uh, yes, sir. We've got all the weapons. Um, we've been pretty cautious after okay. for, um, after Frank's accident, but yeah, um, yeah, it's not nice here. Uh, clean it up the best you can. Get get out of there. Okay. No evidence. You know the drill. Yep. And how much muscle do you need? Half dozen guys. I want you, I want you there as well. Um, okay. I'm going to text you the address. Uh, maximum firepower, or kindred and human. Okay. So I'll bring the flame rounds then, eh? Bring everything. Something's uh, not you, right here. It's uh, you're yes. in trouble, sir. Uh, just something just just happened that wasn't supposed to happen. So I'm just not. I'm just being cautious. Okay. Uh, excellent. So, and where would you like us to meet at your at I'll the New Haven? I'll send you the address. Okay. Uh, don't rock up too right to the door. Keep your distance, but um, establish a reasonable perimeter and send me a text when you're ready uh, that's affirmative I will make do um, I'll sort out Frank I'll get actually I might get Gary and Madeline to sort out Frank and I'll pick up some fresh um, team yeah appreciate it. no problem and I'll hang up from him and I'll make another phone call to Zane Zane you know the drill your phone's ringing Yes. What? What? Yes. What? All right. I know you're on the cameras. What the fuck, dude? Who? Do you know who this fucking woman is? She seems to know us. Maybe. Who the fuck uh, is she? Who's she working possibly. for? I need to fucking know right now. She's on her way here. You fuck. You what? She's coming to us. It's a long uh, way though. How the fuck does she know where the haven is? Uh. I told her. And why would you do something like that? She scares me. And I don't? You scare me, but she scares me more. Well, we're going to have to rim me to that when I, when I see you realise that. Okay. Who the fuck does she work for? Uh, can't remember, bye. Does he, do you, does he hang up on me? <laughs> that, didn't go, that didn't go well. Yeah, oh, Jackson right. flips out and just fucking slams his fist into the dashboard of his car. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this go this is not working. Oh, <laughs> just shit. throws um, his phone down on the floor. Um, then thinks about it, thinks fuck, <laughs> reaches down, picks it up, and makes another phone call uh, to Sheriff Marker. Okay. Uh, the phone rings a couple of times. Marco answers uh, on the speed dial. It's Jackson. Yes, good news. I take it. Uh, yeah, kind of, sort of. Um, a, we've got a Jenny Lawson, I believe it is, in Torpa, ready to find out what the fuck's going on. Possibly working with Billy. Okay, that's good. Uh, that's good. See, uh, bad, we got shot at. By someone oh. on the berth. Uh, well, more she shot at us. She shot at us, but there were more. There were more people there. Is this other woman? You, hang on. Did you say at the berth? At the berth. Shit! I just had a call. There's cops crawling all over that place now. Yeah. Are you clear? We're gone. Yeah, we were gone before they got there. 100. percent No one. No one saw any of you. As far as I know, we're good. Man, if you bust a masquerade as well. I I'm tell pretty you sure. What. I'm pretty sure we got away clean. Yeah. Um, Zane's fucking heats. Zane's going to clean up the cameras if we have any discrepancies. My okay, concern is there was a woman there that knew us. I don't know who the fuck she is. She wanted to talk to Jenny. She wanted to come with us, come to the Haven. Apparently she knows the Haven. She knows Zane. I don't know what the fuck's going on. A woman, Someone what does she look like? And I describe her. I describe her to him. Hmm. Marco, thanks for Brittany. says, it's possible I could know who this is. Well, she seems to know an awful lot about us. 
She might have been a good help, actually, if it's who I think it is. Um, I can check into this for you. My concern is if, if she is a help, why the fuck weren't we told about it? Mm, depends. We didn't need her help right at this point, but why were you... Why was she in the park? Did, or should you just catch up with you? What's What happened? She was the contact, supposedly, that Billy was supposed to be talking to. As it turns out. Okay. So whether she's working for us or for them, I don't fucking know yet. That's odd. I mean, Billy said to uh, you guys he was Sabat, right? Or you yeah, well, that's what we believe make he is. Make the assumption. Yeah, we, he said he was so bad. So, uh, if it's the woman I think it is, then I don't think she's so bad. I'm sure she's not so bad. Um, this is odd. It could have been a setup. Maybe, maybe there's two plays going on here. Well, something's definitely going on, and apparently she's on her way to our, our safe house as we speak. What? No, it's just you at the safe house. No one else is supposed to know about that safe house. Yeah, well, I'm going to talk to Zane about that when I get there. But, but apparently Zane has given out this information to this woman. Fucking Melcaps. Jesus. You're telling me. I want I want to fucking smash him in the face, to be fair. He's good at what he does, Jackson. But the problem is... Okay, yeah. I'm not fucking happy. All together, I mean... Let them know that the, the Hound's safe house is strictly for the Hounds. The more people who know about it, the more danger you idiots are in. Jesus... Well, I've just beefed up security on my end. I got my guys now setting a perimeter because I don't know what the fuck's going on. Okay. Look, make sure no one else knows about this. Find out who knows where the safe house is and who doesn't, and then we can it there. Uh, with a bit of luck, if this is who I think it is, then you've got no qualms. She won't drop you in it. But yeah, yeah. Damn I just it. wish I'd fucking known. I mean, if we if she is on our side, we should have known about it. Would have made things so much fucking easier. Yeah, well, who was to know who Billy was meeting or True. Either, right? I mean, dude, I'm uh, my brain is fucking on fire right now. Okay. Um, look, I'm getting some calls from the the Princess Coterie. I've got to answer them, and they're having some troubles with this. The guy, one you call Tim, his name's Jeremy. Uh, I'm going to deal with him. Are you all right for now? Yeah, we should be good. Uh, like I said, I got, I got some of my guys setting up a perimeter. Hopefully, no more weird shit tonight, with any luck. Just make sure there's nothing in the way of evidence left in the wherever you were meeting. In no, the birth, did you say? Yeah, pretty sure it's clear. Uh, got my guys clearing out Billy's place now. That will be 100% clear within the hour. All right. Shit, you hear him just say shit as he hangs up the phone. <laughs> I say, 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 oh, fuck, and just throw the phone on the floor and then take a, a, a an elongated route back to the safe house. Okay. Like, not quickly. I'm, I'm sort of taking my time just to make sure I'm not being followed or anything like that. At this time of the night, the most of you are going to take around 30 to 40 minutes to get back to your safe house from where you are. Aaron will take a little longer because of his fix-up duties. Um, uh, Jackson Sarah... probably take longer as well because I want to swing by my haven first and pick up a couple of things. <clears throat> Sarah, you'll probably take <clears throat> a little longer too because Zane's sent you on the roundabout. But he, he is good to his word. He does eventually get you there. Um, so, last calls before we get to the Hound's house. So, Echo, were you going anywhere else? Nope, I am trying to get there as fast as I can. Uh, Sarah, you were just following the notes from Zane. There's nowhere you wanted to stop? Uh, no, but I'd probably be doing um, phone calls to John going... Okay. Steam, clean, secure. Um, anything else you found? Um, any cops questioning or anything like that? I'll talk to Zane about trying to clean up the cameras, but everything's done? Yeah. So there was a few people in the park, ma'am, as we were disposing of the bodies. We've put their cameras out of commission. Um, they had cell phones and whatnot. Scared yep. them a little, but we didn't do anything that would, you know, break cover. I suspect someone may have seen me swan dive off the roof. Oh dear. Um, okay, we'll talk to, is it Mr. Riviera? We'll get him to sort the cameras out. Yeah. So just make sure that there was no one that actually saw me do that. Okay. No problem, ma'am. Anything else? Uh, no. Keep me tagged. Make sure, you know, 
if anything happens, you know the drill. Good as gold. No problem here. <coughs> and he hangs up. That's good. Uh, Aaron, you'll be in the chop shop for that hour or so, hour and a half. Is there anything you, anywhere you're going to go after that? Uh, no, once the bike's legal again, <laughs> yeah. I'll, go, I'll go straight back to the um, straight safe back to house. Yeah. It's, it's got a, they managed to match the backlight quite happily. The indicators on the fore and aft are different models. It's, it's wired in and it's screwed on to fit as best as it can but it's not a model match you'll have to do some updating later on um and they were able to clean the rest of the the reaper logo off for you while you waited um your front headlight they've got a second hand one there it's not too bad obviously the chrome is not as nice as what yours was but it'll do the job and the guy says to you yeah that's only going to set you off about 450 buck mate uh, okay, I pull it out of my pocket and give it to him. Yep. He counts through it carefully and says, "All right, it's good to see you. Good for it. Uh, don't get you into did... any more scuffles tonight, eh?" <laughs> no promises. But no. he did good work for um, a rush job. So. He nods his head. He appreciates his 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 demeanor, even though he doesn't seem like he's interested. It's it's just how it seems to be how he is. Um, he nods and he says. Yep. All right then. Uh, just watch out for them reapers. Ah, oh, don't worry. They're gonna have a visit. Yeah, it's not right to touch them. It's bike. He he agrees. He knows he's nah. It's sacred. That is. Hmm. All right. Thanks for your services. I'm out of here. I'm jump on the bike and go. Easy to that. And Zane and Pip. Um. Just before we switch over to them, um, Jackson would make one text on his way back to the safe house yep. to um, Sam at the Melbourne Police. Okay, yep, Sam. Um, yep. Asking for a little assistance for clean-up at the berth. Yep, he uh, uh, says, Mr. Spencer, haven't heard from you in a little while. Uh, be just a text, not a phone call. Oh, yeah, are you only texting? Yep. Okay. Yep. Sweet. And <laughs> with the uh, be dot 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 uh, usual fee deposited as usual. Okay. Uh, Tix comes back about five or six minutes later and says, "Will do." So that was your crazy night? Question mark? Question mark? Question mark? Um, I'd just... pokey the pokey tongue face. That's sort of <laughs> <laughs> emoji. So I send back. Okay. Um, we'll get to your haven next. We'll just go to Zane and Pip. Yep. So Zane and Pip, you have some moments where you know that the team are it probably headed back to you. It's getting to be around uh, one thirty ish in the morning now. So Pip's gone to sit in one of the chairs and he's reading one of Billy's books. He's like, Zane, are you going to hang around? It's, it's going to get very interesting for you soon, and I don't even have a vision for that. <laughs> Um, Zane, you can reply before I carry on. <laughs> Don't think you're going to need a vision for that one. No, no, not at all. I wouldn't blame you. <laughs> but while you're saying this, you open the, one of these Billy's books and there's a scrap of paper ripped in it. And it's just amongst the pages there. And it's just notes written in handwriting how to cleanly take off a kindred's head or a body part with a rifle. It's, um, it mentions use of ordinary bullets is not powerful enough, and he notes that 50 cow bullets can do it in some cases, can take them off at the neck if it's aimed correctly. He's also noted that there have been other kindred that have healed back from a 50 cow shot to the, the neck, even to the side of the head. He's written down more notes on the back of this little sheet of scrap paper. It says he's working on with some other people he doesn't mention names just says working on with a team a small explosive effect that could come from a burst of flame into contact similar to a, a dragon round or a flame <laughs> round he's also noted that he's tried these bullets out and the kindreds that he sh the kindred that he shot with it um he's aimed for the neck in order to take the head off and it's worked well and then as you turn the page there's a cutout in this book completely cut out it's got a USB stick stuck inside to recover. 
book vandalism. This is... Zane, do you want this thing? And he sort of chucks it over to Zane. What? what? Where'd you find that? It's in this book. He carved the middle out of it. Poor book. Okay, so I get my laptop out, scan it for viruses. <laughs> so straight away, <laughs> you're, you're spot on. The first thing you find is a corruption virus. It, basically, if you had to run it without scanning it, it would have pretty much deleted everything you had on all your hard drives there, <laughs> anything that was plugged together. Um, I'll get you to roll. This should be good for you, though. Um, intelligence technology. Hang on, let me get to it. <laughs> And I believe because it's a USB stick, it's up, up your alley, so I think you get that extra dice as well. Oh, uh, hang on. Uh, so extra dice from. Oh, you're up. Don't know. Hang on. Rolling uh, now. Because it's your specialty skill, yeah. Okay. Wrong one. Four plus hunger. Uh, yeah, so I said, did you get a, a fail on the hunger? Yeah. Okay. Um, it doesn't matter because you succeeded anyway. No hassle. The, the hunger, your hunger doesn't get any worse on a success. So <coughs> you managed to get rid of the virus off the off the USB drive, no hassle at all. It takes you a couple of number punches, you, you throw in one of your other USB sticks that has your extra, uh, like a case or a chest that you would put anything in like that, and you're able to watch what's on this USB stick, if you would like. Yep. The USB stick is a couple of small videos. Oh, pip, and, pip. and record Sorry. as I'm watching as well. Are you going to record make, it too? Okay. Yeah, make, make a backup of it. Uh, Pip, you're able to watch this if you would like as well. Um, it seems to be uh, someone else holding the camera because you can see Billy and Jenny, the woman you saw on the, the camera earlier um, the, the night before, who was working with Billy. And they're both, they seem to be in an, an anarch area. It looks like Yarra to you from the landmarks. Uh, South Yarra to be exact and no it's out of Yarra it's the city of Yarra so it's actually just out of Melbourne um, the landmarks took you off and they're taking pop shots at some what you can and it's all audio as well you can hear them calling them the thin blood street scum or thin blood druggies and there's some anarch neonates mentioned amongst it they're taking them out from a distance with these sniper rifles, they're silenced, but you can see Jenny's like she's sort of telling him X amount of degrees north to northwest, and then poof, he's just taking the shot. And then you see the camera sort of zooms, and boom, the head of one of these that they're calling druggies pops, oh, and the body just drops. And you can see the buddies around, and then that chops to another video of them, and they're in a um, like a long sort of dark paddock at night and all, all these are at night under street lights but there's multiple of these videos one in a dark paddock where they're just taking they've tied up what looks to be uh, and it has to be kindred because they're showing their their fangs they're bearing their fangs and making it um pretty obvious or that they're angry and don't want to be tied here and then it shows jenny taking shot boom and their heads just erupt in fire and they're screaming and then they drop to their knees while tied they drop to their knees, and this is like practice shots of some of the weaponry they've been trying out. This is disgusting. What sort of monster would do this? And you notice he's still talking about the book. <laughs> Maybe this will be some leverage to get you out of trouble. Maybe. We'll see. Mm. I got two of them. Yay. <laughs> right. So, uh, is that anything else you guys like to do in this time? Uh, um, so, in my bag of tricks, I would have packed a few cameras because, given what the cam camera I like, 
I'll go putting cameras up all over the place. <laughs> Sweet, okay. I'll assist. Just around the uh, the haven here. Yeah. Not there, 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 there. Not there, there. <laughs> all right, Captain. Got his gold. Um, duly noted, you guys have got cameras up around the house now. <clears throat> um, it'll take a few hours to get in place. They're not going to be instant, but it depends if you're making them wireless or not. It's not too bad. Yeah, wireless. Wireless. Easy, no, no. Uh, 128 bit encryption and all the, <laughs> <laughs> all the mod cons. All right, and Jackson, you're headed back to your main haven. Yeah. So. <clears throat> Under, uh, to go uh, to my building under, oh crap am I still muted holy crap <coughs> I was coughing I was coughing up a storm okay. um, so yeah um, my building my, my the entrance to my haven is the back, back of the building underground entrance so I drive down go under um, I take Jenny's body with me take it out of the trunk yep. and I deposit her into a cell so I have uh, two or three of at my haven. Okay. Um, I lock Jackson, her in can there. can I get you to make a check for me, please? Cool. Uh, I'll get you to make a what's awareness check, please. What's awareness? Uh, two successes. Okay. Uh, carry on. Yeah, so remove her from the trunk. Uh, ch double checking that she's still torpid that the she, she does seem to be still torpid that my blade has not been uh, come loose or been removed in the jostling in the car no it seems to be uh, secure in place um <clears throat> she's very strong you can see her fingers just pulsing a couple of sort of 10 mil 20 mil and then her hand opens back up and then she tries again she okay. is very strong in character so with noticing that, um, I would definitely take her to the cell. Um, I would uh, bind her with uh, binders. And these are not your typical zip tie binders. These are wire rope type binders. Uh, yep, I know the ones. Ankle and an ankle and wrist. Um, leave the blade where it is. I'm not going to risk removing it to replace it with something else at this point. Okay. And I will leave her there. I will lock her in. I'm going to go to my armory and uh, grab a couple of extra bits and pieces. Apart from what I already carry in, in the trunk of my car, I'm going to grab some, um, maybe half a dozen incendiary grenades. Oh, yep, big numbers. Just to, as a just in case, and um, and a couple of frag grenades as well. Okay, incendiary and frag. Made a note. And then I will make my way to the haven. All right, so in the Haven, Echo, you would arrive before the others um, with Aaron having to stop and Sarah being on a ticky tour. You get to the Haven first with Zane and Pip. I burst through the door, slam it with my foot, spin my two daggers out of the side, Point at Pip and say, Pip, watch the door, grapple anyone who's not a hound. Oh, Zane? hi, Miss Munro. Hi. Who the fuck is Sarah? It's Sarah. It's Sarah. Zane, I get really close. What is Sarah? Anarch? Camarilla? You're the tech guy. <laughs> Yeah. So, she's furiously typing on it. She might be telling you who she is, but um, I think <laughs> she's, she's Camarilla. Does so Zane know, though? Yeah. Uh, Zane has worked with her. He would know. All right. Uh, do you know her? Maybe. Little. Just li 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 little. If you saw her in the camera, did you tell Jackson or Aaron on the phone? <laughs> oh, was that important? I take my gloves off and I just slam my hand down on his computer and I'm like, yeah, it's a little fucking important since now she's got a whole bunch of people. I don't know. They were shooters or something said to give chase and 
Everything's fucked. Oh, I suppose I shouldn't have said where we where we are then, huh? And I just slam my hand down on this computer again, and I assume that we still have guns on the table since we no we we didn't have any guns. We had paperwork on the table, so I'm gonna scoot the chair right in front of the door, and I'm gonna put it with my daggers, and wait. She, she, she's, she's friend, she's friendly. Is she friendly? I think, I think. Here's a thought. If the Camarilla, if the sheriff thinks that Billy is tied up, why didn't she get a message not to show to meet Billy then, Zane? Did you think about that? <laughs> and I stare and watch the door. And, and I go look at my computer, see if any damage, damage has been done to it. Pip did what he was told. <coughs> You're muted, pass. <laughs> Damn it, I'm muted. <laughs> um, Zane, what did you say you were cheeky, mate? I didn't quite hear that. Uh, check, checking his computer that it's alright that it didn't get broken from the couple of slams on it. <laughs> oh, she's, yeah, she slammed her hands on the computer keys. Nothing's out of place or anything, but nothing seems to be going. Your computer's all, it, it's the, you know that big blue screen you get and it's got the big sad face? <laughs> it's doing like a loady <laughs> sign. It, yeah, all your monitors are showing that up now. Mmm, crap. <laughs> I'll get to work fixing it then. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're, you're looking at it and it's it's telling Microsoft the problem. And it's going to, uh, it's up to 87% of telling Microsoft the problem. It's got that cool little square box thing that, you know, you can scan on the side showing up. Yeah, it's, it's doing its thing. It's actually making that noise like, drrr, it's just doing that solidly out the speakers. Uh, about that stage, Sarah, you pull up to the the dress that Zane has given you. It's a looks like a dingy hole from the outside compared to what you like. <laughs> I look at it. I've got an assumption. I'm going to ring Zane. And Zane, your phone is going. Do I hear the phone? You, uh, no, I don't think you would. I think the house would be soundproof enough that you would not. Uh, okay, with that, I'm going to hand the phone to Echo. It's for you. <laughs> uh, Echo, do you take the phone? I answer the phone, Dave. Phone speaker. Okay, I'm putting it on speaker. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Zane, honey, I'm very disappointed you made me take the scenic route. Oops, sorry. Hmm, and the car's not here. The I car. want to speak to her. Who? Her uh, who? Well, I don't know, but I'm going to presume it's Jenny Lawson, the one that you didn't tell me about. Uh, Jenny's not here right now. Got well, Echo. that's fucking obvious. Got Echo here. Hello, Miss Munro, I guess you're on speaker. Mm-hmm. Okay, now Zane. Yep. I asked you two days ago for that information about them. Why did you not respond? Why are you giving Sarah information, Zane? Because I am the person that you apparently do not give it to me. Do you understand? <laughs> are you a hound? I don't think so. And no, I I'm not a hound. And I hang it up. But, okay. <laughs> Ooh, my ears. <laughs> that was I'm awesome. going to get on the phone. And I'm going to ring Marco. Right, yep. Marco answers pretty promptly. Marco, uh. what's going on? I was shot at my own um, birth. I've got... Jackson, Miss Monroe, Spain's being a weird ass little shit. What the fuck is going on? 
And never mind the one that looks like a fucking dog. For crying out loud, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Sarah, uh, I assume that's you. <laughs> she took, looks at his phone. Uh, yeah, yeah. Listen, I think there's been some sort of uh, misunderstanding here. Were you meant to be meeting someone called Jenny Lawson? I was supposed to be meeting Billy Zane. He was supposed to be doing reconnaissance for me for down at Fisherman's Bend in Port Melbourne. Trying to open up the ports. Okay. They were going to be doing reconnaissance for me and I, my contact gave them my, gave them to me. It was my first meetup. And all of a sudden I've got people there. Is this anything to do with what happened to Leslie? Yeah, so the bad uh, news is... Just, just, you're all right, Sarah. Calm down. I'll sort this out. But the bad news is... Turns out that Billy and possibly this Jenny person have been involved with some sort of attack on Leslie. Um, I guess unbeknownst to you, they've been working for the enemy. We are assuming this is a bat from something Billy said at this stage. The I was talking to Jackson just on the phone earlier. He didn't know who you were. Probably but, by word of mouth, if he heard your name, you might have been right. But unfortunately, yeah. this is a problem. Zane's given you their address. I hear. I'm there now. I'm there now. I haven't knocked on. I'm not stupid enough. I kind of had a funny feeling. Yeah. Wait for Jackson. Um, I've well, spoken to him. He'll talk to you, hopefully. Uh, this is where I've got to turn around and say, I, Hi, I'm Sarah Barnett. Mm, yeah, yeah, in, your, in, your, in the way you do. Fuck's sake. Oh, um, oh. This look, is a shit show and Leslie's at risk. He's not going to be happy, Marco. No, he's not. We're actually talking about it now, um, using one of your safe houses. Are you planning on, what's the time? And he looks at, are you planning on heading back tonight to your place? All depends on if I get my hands on Jenny. I want to know what the fuck happened down that berth. All right. I don't think you're going to get, well, it's hard to say. We never know, but we don't think we're going to get your hands on Jenny. We're going to, Jackson told me he's torpid her. So we're going to get her to Leslie. Um, oh. I want to watch. Yeah, that, that's the idea. However, there's been too many problems lately, so we're going to get Leslie over to your safe place, if that's fine. Okay, you know, the I've changed the security code. Uh, give me a moment, I'll... Um... Yeah, if you can send that to me, uh, send it to my encrypted phone, and then I'll chuck it once that's done. I'll give it to um, John, and he'll, <coughs> he'll give it to you. Okay, good If call. there's anyone that's going to protect anyone, it's going to be him. Uh, say what you have to say to the hounds. They're working for me. They're my hounds. They're Leslie's hounds as well. So he's directing the traffic and I'm sort of pushing them in the direction they need to go. We're trying to solve this bullshit as well. But um, I'm afraid, I am sorry that you've been dragged into this, but we will try and sort it out. Get from the hounds what you need. They'll. I've spoken to Jackson. They'll hopefully give you okay. some information that they can, if they can. Um, Otherwise, uh, by the way, you need to talk to, about Zane, to Zane about giving out safe houses. This is fucking ridiculous. Yes, Jackson said the same. Um, I will give him a call later on. Uh, I've got some stuff. I'll, I'll give it to Jackson. It, I'm hoping that we can find out what happened to Mary. I found on my last, one of my last things, the name came up. So I'll see what I can find. Okay, no problems there. Appreciate that. <laughs> Sorry about what's happened, Sarah. We'll um, we'll get it sorted. Okay, no worries. Then I'll hang up and just stand in the courtyard and wait for Jackson. Okay, sweet. Um, Aaron, you would arrive before Jackson. <laughs> mm-hmm. And, and I'm taking Jack it. Jackson took a detour, so. I'm taking it. Sarah's out the front. Yeah, you can see your car sitting there. Sarah has a driver with her. Um, I'm going to go ride the bike into the back, put it in the garage, go in okay. through the back door <laughs> yeah. and go, you know, we've got a visitor. Yeah. Yes, I'm fully aware. Oh, a visitor. And Pip's going to go open the door. <laughs> no, <laughs> Pip. He's like, <laughs> are you <laughs> mad at Zane? By any chance? Why, why am I mad at Zane? Oh, actually, Zane, did you get that information I asked for? Uh, got the, the got the license plate. No name. No name. I just need to know what he looks like. Uh, yeah, I'll bring it up when my computer's fixed. 
it broke. Um, okay. Yeah, Zane, you're having mm, a lot of trouble getting that computer back online. A lot. It's like your whole hard drive's been wiped. All of them. Anything that was plugged into that main computer is gone. I take it, Aaron, we have a back door. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe house. you should guard the back door. Why? Why am I guarding the back door? I don't know, but Mr. Wonderful here gave away our haven coordinates. So... So, uh, where's Jackson with the, um, chick? I don't know. Did you get a call? Mm, no, I got delayed. I need to get the bike fixed before I came here. Maybe give him a call. Okay, I can do that. And then give Jackson a call. Jackson, you're on the road. You're about 10 minutes out. Yeah. Um, when your phone goes. Um, I'll pull over and take it. Yo, what's up? Uh, where you at, dude? Uh, about 10 minutes away. Okay. Um, we got some chick sitting out the front. Uh, yeah, I figured. Um, yeah, like, Zane, go Zane. Out there and kill her, or is yeah, this a... yeah, no, I'm waiting for Marco to get back to me on that. Find out who the fuck this woman is. Seems a little complicated, but, um,. If you see, I mean, you probably see more than anyone. Um, if you see a half dozen guys or so that seem like they're surrounding the place, uh, they're my guys. So just they're there to oh. protect us because Zane has a big fucking mouth. Yeah, I, I, I found that out when I got here. So, so, so they're going to set up a perimeter. They're going to remain as unseen as they can. They're pretty good. I mean... Do do you have Janet with you? Fuck no. I'm not bringing her here with that bitch here. Good. Because... Not um, that stupid. I think we need to move. And it's a possibility. And here. Um, I'm waiting on a phone call from Marco to find out what the fuck's going on. Uh, as soon as that comes in, we'll have a bit more information. But I'm, no. not, far, I'm not far. Um, I'm going to park a little way down the street. I'm going to come in on foot at the back, but... I'll be there shortly. Uh, see you in 10. Yes. Yes. Yeah. There is Lenny against one of the car, just with her legs crossed, just sitting there, just waiting. So she's not making any move one way or the other. She's waiting for someone to come and talk to her now that she's spoken to Marco. Sweet. So you guys have got a bit of conversation time before Jackson arrives in, in the house with Sarah. But you can see her, if you have a look out the window, you can see her quite happily leaning against the vehicle through the um, front fence and the trees. It's not a clear shot, but you can see she's leaning against her car. So, um, Zane, why are you using windows? Really, that's what you're taking from this? What the fuck? <laughs> it's Microsoft, dude. But, yeah, that... Uh, Okay, so, <laughs> one, you give away the safe place, we're not the most intelligent thing you've done tonight. Two, you didn't warn us about an army being there. Um, and we almost all got killed. And three, you gave away the fucking safe house. What the hell? Isn't that cover. one? Isn't that one? Yeah, but that's how big of a fuck up it is. It gets twice. Okay. Okay. Two. Did know about. Really? Uh, the fact that there was a whole army there of people with guns. Yeah. Is it? Is it? cameras? Oh, bloody hell, cat! We got a cat in the safe haven? Pip, Pip, put your cat away. <laughs> the cat just jumped up on the back of my chair. Kitty, kitty. Uh. <laughs> so, so Zane, you would know um, all the camera shots you were trying to get were low down on buildings where the shots were coming from. And even <coughs> at the time you, you saw the red dots on chests, 
you couldn't get a shot of where they were coming from from the cameras you had access to and by the time you sort of got cameras around everyone was on the move again i'll explain all that to them in my weird wonderful <laughs> explanations um while well, i was still trying to work out the computer your linux but, backup system kicks in but it's barely working <sighs> Start from scratch. Bugger. Do, do we just leave her out there? She's she's not going away and he looks through the and he's like waving. <laughs> um. Is she one of the hounds? Pip. I don't think she's a hound, she looks like a vampire. <laughs> then she stays out there. In our undercover operation. Okay. Jackson, you pull up about now. Do do I get my phone call from Sheriff Marco or not? Sheriff Marco has not called you back as of yet. Um, I'm going to make a phone call to him. Dead, before I go in. Okay. I'm about two street, like uh, maybe a block away. Okay, yep, yep. I'm going to go the rest of the way on foot, but I'm going to ring Marco before I go. Sweet. He answers, he says, Shit, sorry man, what? Already? You need yeah. me? Uh, information is what I fucking need. You're supposed to get back to me, like ASAP. Uh, yeah, Woman, I'm, I'm looking birth. it up. Fuck, man. So, uh, we've got a lot going on here at the minute. I, I apologise for holding you up. Uh, so, right, is what she, exactly after? So, is she good guy or bad guy? Is what I know. Do I do I kill her or not? Oh, Sarah, no, she's she's with us, man. She's Who with now? Us. Sarah Barnett, the woman that you guys have met at the birth. She's a Camarilla agent. She's part of. Uh, she actually works with uh, teams of ex-marines, mercenaries like that. Uh, they do a lot of good work for the Camarilla. Unfortunately, it seems I've like I've heard the name, yeah, of, but yeah, you, you would have worked with her in the past, probably not directly. Uh, but. Yeah, I mean, she's possibly worked with some of my teams, but I haven't been out in the field for a long time. But uh, shit. Okay, so what what's the deal here? I mean. Chain of command wise here. What what the fuck? Are we are we working for her? We're working for you? What the fuck? No, going you're on? working. You're working for me. I've I've actually talked to her on the phone. And you're so working for does me. does that mean yeah. that we can give we don't give her any information because she's not part of this or what? What the fuck are we? What is what's going on? I need to know exactly where we stand here. She's a good source. So if you need information, you can hopefully if she's got any, she can get it to you, and vice versa. She is very helpful but how much do we give her is what i'm getting at how much am right. i able to give to her I'll, is she above say, me or below me is what i want to know that's a hard call she's done a lot of work with us for a lot of time um i would say i mean she's she knows leslie directly she talks she calls him squizzy for fuck's sake See, she's friendly with him i would say and this has not been real jackson i would say she's above you dude if she's calling Prince Taylor, that, 100%. I'm not fucking stupid. I mean, we are same clan. I know what he's like. I'm not going to fucking tread on any toes here. But, just so you know, next time this shit goes down, I'm pulling the trigger first before any questions. I don't give a shit. If, we don't, if we're not in the loop, I'm going to kill someone. I, I, I don't care anymore. Unfortunately, this is some we were in the shit. loop, Peter. I didn't know that Sarah was meeting anyone tonight. It's not one of those things. She, she doesn't tell us all her business because her business is covert um but she does answer you know to us to leslie and myself um so just if she needs something help her out but you make a call if it's a need to know basis i think you know what's important for this trial now, as far as is jenny lawson's concerned she's at my haven she's secure she's torpid good do you want her back at headquarters or do you want me to deal with it I think if you guys can get some questions out of her and Billy and use them against each other. I mean, if they know each other, they as much as, well, as much as the Sabah can have feelings, maybe if you threaten one, it might make the other talk. Get them together. I think that's a good idea. Drill right. them, drill them hard, get the answers we need. Now, uh, you know Sarah's gonna- Sit wanna... Aaron onto the fucking hell. He, well, she should be able to make him talk. <clears throat> well, we can all do that. Um... You said that uh, Sarah's going to want to talk to her, yeah? Uh, yes, possibly, yes. 
what is it? I mean, to me, I don't know. If she can help, maybe we'll sort it out. But not to, it won't be tonight. I'm not taking any many more risks tonight. The haven's been compromised. Any chance we can get moved? Maybe a fresh haven, someone that's not fucking compromised? Or is are we good? Okay. I'll have a look. I've got plenty of safe havens, but... We know, may need we a new one, because... We can't be burning all of our fresh places. I'm going to so, deal with Zane. Don't you fucking worry. Yeah, make worry. sure he keeps his mouth shut. Secondly, the Sarah situation. Tell us you'll get her hands on Jenny. You know, I'll, I'll, let it, I'll let her ask her questions, but it'll be on our well, terms. Well, get the questions from her first. Find out what they're going to be. Uh, like I said, I, it'll be on I'll our terms. i to her to work with you. Yep. And then we'll work out when we can all meet together next. Um, I want to get Leslie to her safe haven, hopefully this evening. Right. Um, that That's the plan. I'm getting Leslie and it's going to be together Well, maybe we should get all of us together at some point with Sarah, so we're all on the same fucking page, so none of this shit goes on again. Agreed. Talking to Leslie, he wants a Billy and Jenny in the same space. And if we can get Sarah and all of the hounds there, we might get something out of this. Um, but so. I'm, yeah, I'm organizing the coterie and Leslie for a move now. We're just, we've got like 20, 30 guys out here making sure we're, when we get out of Elysium, that we're all sweet. To that. All right. It's not going to be fun, but I'm going to deal with it. Yep, that's what I hired you for, Jackson. He hangs up. So before I head to the haven, to the rear of the haven, I'm going to uh, remove the hardware from the boot of my car, put it into a bag that I that also grabbed from the haven, and take that with me. No worries, easy um, done. And there will be uh, other other a few extra pistols for others as well in that bag. So I will make it to the back of the haven, so I won't even be, I won't even see Sarah coming in the front, I'll be coming across the back, uh, to the back of the house, and, and eventually in the back door, and I'm not going to be quiet about it, it'll be more or less, almost kicking the back door in, Sarah, walking, I would straight, say... walking straight up to the front room, throwing the bag in one side, and straight up to Zane. I would say you'd hear a vehicle to the rear of the street, Sarah. Oh, it's loud. And, and... And definitely, you definitely hear it. Must be. And then you would hear some more, the door open and whatnot inside, and then some more talking. It's I up should to you hear, what you do. She'd hear me because I wouldn't be quiet. Uh, so, so Jackson, you go into what you're going to say, and then we'll see if Sarah decides to do what she's going to do. It'd be yeah, door bursts open. Walk. I'm assuming it's a hallway from rear to the front room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hallway that branches off into the other rooms and yep. then you've got the open front space so be out to the front space i'd throw a large bag of stuff which when it hits the ground you can tell it's got metal it's you can tell it's probably weapons just for the sound of it hitting the floor and i'd be straight up nose to nose with zane what the fuck went down zane which part and when don't fuck with me which part and when why the fuck are you giving out information about this fucking haven? To people we don't fucking know. I know her. I, think. I don't care who the fuck you know. I don't know her. You weren't given instructions to give out haven details to anyone. She scared me. And Daunt goes up. You. She's not the one to be scared of. I am. And I grab him by the shoulders and I headbutt him right in the face. As hard as I can. Um, so, I will say, now Zane, are you going to try and, you see it coming, are you going to try and stop it? No, let it happen. You need it happen. So, uh, strength brawl from you, um, Jackson. I'm sorry, Trash. <laughs> this is going to hurt. Oh, yeah. Will you shut up down there, please? Uh, just roll a Zane. Just roll a uh, a Dix. I'll say I'll say yeah, Dix brawl in, in return, just to see because there's going to be a difference of damage. Oh, yes. One, two, three, four, six successes. Okay, so that's that and that. Wow. Success. Both okay. die. Jesus. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, uh, so I got uh, that one. Yep, so you got one of those or two of those? 
one of those, and the other one was a red. I assume it's a red die I need to use because I got hunger. Yeah. Yep. Well, it was a success as well. Okay. okay. So it's two successes. That's fine. So you take and you had six, didn't you, Jackson? Yeah. Nothing on the red. Nothing on. Them. Sweet. Um, you take Zane. You take two superficial damage from the quick head, but he's just smashed right into your face. Um, thankfully, it's there's pain. Thankfully, nothing seems to be too major. He's just given you a, a quick swift headbutt to the face. If you were a mortal, it probably would have busted your nose and you'd be pissing blood everywhere. There is a trickle of vitae, and it hurt. For sure, it hurt. And so, as I stand so up. Yep, there you go. I'm assuming that trick was running down my lip. Yeah, yeah. Your own Vitae into your <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> So mm. I think drinking your own is going to sustain anything. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Mal Kip. What do you expect? <laughs> Feeding up um, members of the Coterie is all well and good, but maybe we should save it for who lies outside. Right, as that. we got to figure out what to do. Yeah, with that. I've just got off the phone with Marco. Turns out our little friend out front is Camarilla. She is one of the good guys. She is... By your terms. Well, shut the fuck up, Aaron. No, no one asked your fucking opinion. Sarah, you hear them going off inside too. It's your decision if you want to make way to the door. No, she's just going to wait outside, but she's going to ring now. She'll ring Zane. Because she's kind so, of digging, what's going on? Basically, <laughs> she's, she's an ally. She will possibly have information that we may need. But any information we share is on our fucking terms. Why didn't the sheriff tell her that we had Billy secured? Why was she going out to meet Billy? Sheriff's been a bit fucking weird. He didn't, he's not given as much information as I think he could be. I'm not sure what the fuck's going on there. But... As far as she's aware, we still had Billy. I say we give away nothing. Zane, nothing. Zane, your phone's ringing right at this point. You open your mouth again, Zane, about information that's not supposed to be given out without express permission from myself or Echo or anyone else in this fucking coterie. You, answer, you, you, answer this you will find answer, the final answer, death answer, answer, very answer, close. Answer. You can answer, 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 answer. Answer the phone. Okay. Yeah. It's your fucking phone. Answer it. Okay, answer it. Put it on the speaker. <laughs> oh, God. Hello, Zane. Oh. Oh. Mr. Spencer, I commend you on your choice. Would one of you like to come out here and speak to me? I believe we can help one another. I am not going into your safe haven which someone very generously gave out you should know better Zane Miss Barnett Tater to mother. Zane mother. shut the fuck up Miss Barnett you're invited to join us if you wish oh I have information Okay, Zane, what is it? <coughs> Video information, gotta come inside. Zane, shut the fuck up. Miss Barnett, please come inside. We can do this face to face instead of over the bloody phone. Pip looks for permission to open the door. No information, Zane. Pip, yeah, oh, let her in. Yeah. Sarah's <sighs> gonna walk up to the door. Is this, are you here for the uh, angry at Zane party? <laughs> I believe that would be the party I'm a part come of. Come right yes. You're in the right place. And you are? Hip. Hip. Your father ordered the ring stand or something. And then I walk in. So, Sarah, I guess you know most of us here. Well, Aaron. I have an idea who you. I've used you, your, your company. Yeah, after Red I spoke sports. to Marco, uh, name rang a bell. I wish I'd known earlier, would have made life a lot easier. So you didn't, and I'm going to look directly at, uh, and I go, so 
You didn't tell them you were meeting a Sarah Barnett at the docks so that we could actually collaborate this whole information or anything like that. To be fair, we didn't know who we were meeting at the docks. We didn't know Shit. whether you were... Name didn't mean anything at the time. That's what I'm saying. At the time, it wouldn't have mattered. As far as we were aware, we were meeting a contact of Billy. Like May I make a suggestion? Start sharing information if you're working as a team. It makes life a hell of a lot easier. Which reminds me, I share the information. You don't share any more information without permission. Pip, you've got the standalone laptop you took from Zane the, pre the previous few hours earlier. Yeah. He's got his ones that are hooked up and that are still running. You've still got a running laptop in front of you that you ran a search on looking for a book name. That book name is popped <coughs> up in front of you now with the author. The book is called One Vampire's Diet and is written by A. Green. The book's... It, it's got a little blurb about what, you know, the back of the book and it seems to be about a vampire who goes around and feeds off other vampires and then kills them before they die. Oh, More literature. This is from... This is from... T and he sort of looks up and he's like, Tim, Tim, remember Tim? Oh, Tim was fun. Wait, what? Tim, you know, Tim with the weird face. Uh, yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I have no clue what he's on about. I have shit to do tonight. Can we just- <laughs> No one has a clue what he's on about the best of times. Right, my guys that were at the dock, dead miss monroe i thought you might like to have this information too since you very generously put me out of path line acid rounds shot clean cut off their heads they were torpid their cl clean up crew's been happened my two guys are gone they were there to protect me to make sure that it wasn't the billy i thought it was <laughs> i'm the billy that i think it is is someone I have met so I was waiting to find out whether it was that and if it was that I was going to be very cautious yeah well Billy is uh, supposedly Sabat what by his own admission you said Sabat oh uh, yes yeah, was what I said oh I know a fucking dead man right and so Billy and yeah, Billy and Jenny are supposedly working together, and uh, we yeah, found. Yeah, I was about that. My contact, he's a dead man, um, said that. It's not Zane, Billy... is it? Because I'd, I'd be quite happy for you to follow through. I've tried. I've wanted to for so long. Don't, don't. Just. Don't. I've only known him a, d a d day, and I want to. I mean, to be fair. But anyway, look, that's... I oh, digress. He's not, he's not that yeah, sorry. bad. He's a little bit... Like, not okay, he's that bad. Yeah. So, your anyway, guy... Anyway, just you know that... Um, Billy asked... I asked for one person to come. Billy was suggested. And Billy requested Jenny to come along. To do what, exactly? Reconnaissance. Down at Port Melbourne. You know, and, uh, you know that back. neither one of them are reconnaissance at all. They're both decorated snipers, yeah? Oh, yeah, I know. There's a reason why I wanted the sniper part of it. I mean... Who suggested them? Yeah. Who, who put Billy onto you? You onto Billy? Because I'd like to have a chat. Uh, we, have have the name, we have the name of notes <laughs> yes we do i'm debating on whether i'm going to tell him <laughs> i from what i've seen and i'm going to put this in quite blunt terms you guys i know i'll give you a tip the guy's been true which is why he was trusted by me just to let you know And what's that got to do with anything? Oh, lay down, will ya? Anyway. I'm... I have... 
and she's not sure. She's she's really not sure after the buck up at the dock. She's really not sure. Seems to me. So that... here's the information that I've got. I'm not happy about this. I'm not happy. All and all of a sudden, Leslie's getting shot at, and all of a sudden you're on the case. Well, firstly, he wasn't shot at. Get shot at. He was. Leslie, it yeah. was a explosive device. Prince Taylor uh, specifically uh, asked us. Jackson, no, she doesn't need to know. That's okay. I'll just ask Leslie. Go on. So the information that we have thus far, I personally don't think you need to know. Well, I'm we'll not, not be talking to, to Jenny anytime soon. Oh, well, in that case, well, I, Marco already expressed this, so I'm going to give you a bit of a, I want my hands on someone. Something happened. I want to at least put my hands on someone. Well, you're going to have to go find someone to put your hands on, because... And that's why I'm not sure I want to give you the name. Because at the end of the day, the debacle that happened at the port seems to be more your guys than us. The question that I have to ask, and this is the question I want you to realise, is if to ask Jenny, why did Billy want her? And you have Billy? We have him. He's safe. Because then you need so to find out Jenny. who the second shooter was. You need to find out who the second shooter was. Because as far as I thought, it might have been Billy, but Billy doesn't miss. What second and shooter? And that's Billy doesn't miss. It wasn't there a was second shooter. Shooters. There was two shooters. Tonight, there was one shooter, was Jenny, and she missed twice. Have I got that wrong, storyteller? Uh, no. The, there was a second you know, shot? Well, there was two shots, but there were other shooters. You guys were standing on the roof with red oh, dots we knew, on your we knew there were other shooters, but the two shots that were fired at them was came from the same place. Sorry, yes, the two yeah, shots were both. That's what I'm getting at. Yep. Oh, that's what I was confused. Yep. I actually thought they came from two separate locations. Oh, no, sorry. The, the two shots that were aimed at the two ladies, Sarah and Echo, they were yeah, uh, both from, from Jenny. From Jenny yeah. All right. I will retract that. It's <laughs> all good. <laughs> I was still confused. Like, I'm pretty sure it was only one shooter. <laughs> yeah. um, we need to find out who those other people are. If they've got red marks on us, I ha I had them on me. I'm guessing that's why you went flying off the roof. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. It was definitely a lot more there than even we expected. I mean... Uh Okay, okay. We I went underprepared, and it's not going to happen again. I'm telling you I, that I, now. I know, I know you hate me, but guys, gotta watch this, please. Plugs the USB. What? Zane. Plugs the USB into the TV. Zane. Please. No, no, Zane. Listen, listen to me. Is it important? Do we all need to know this? Is it something we can discuss later? Is this hound business? Both. Turn off the TV, Zane. No. Is it hound business? Yes, and no. It's a video of shots being done by people. Of tonight? No. Stay. Yes. Stay. Yes. Now I think clearly, is this something that I should know about? Yes. Or is it something that only or, you guys should know about? Or... Zane, did you plug the USB into the TV and switch it on? Yes, but I cleaned the virus, remember? Yeah, that's right. I was just asking if you actually switched the telly on. Yes, I did. So, so it while he's to, talking, has it started to play? Yeah, he's put the USB stick in and the play buttons, the way it goes. I put my foot um, through the TV screen. It auto starts. Okay, and you <laughs> put your foot through the TV screen. Easy enough done. No roll for that. I'm already pissed off, so. Um, just reaction. Can you roll a. What sort of TV is it? CRT or, or a flat screen? No, no, flat, flat screen. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not would I have caught a glimpse before he did that? You would have seen a fuzzy screen right before his foot went through. So it was like, you know, you get that play. When you a video tape, you hit play and it sort of fuzzies first. It was a bit fuzzy and then he kicked it. It's it's, it's just sparking. And then I, then I, then I, because Dawn, Dawn, by the way, Dawn's still up and I shot, I just shoot Zane a very intense look. <laughs> hey, back in the hole. Anyway, 
here's the thing, as far as I know, this is what I'm going off an assumption that I know. I don't know for certain because someone never gave me any information. But I'm guessing the Billy, the Billy is the one that I met in a former life. He didn't miss anything like that. He's working with this Jenny who shot at us. Either he's being controlled or he's working for someone else. From what I can gather, and I will, and by the way, I'm reaching into my back pocket and I'm waiting for Jackson to put a gun up my head. <laughs> I've got my hand on my gun. It's not, I haven't drawn it, but it's, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm going to pull out a phone and I'm going to throw it to Zane. See what you can find out off of that. Specifically about Mary. Wait, Mary? Mary who? Mary Wade! I'm gonna look at... Pip? What? The... The CSI... Oh, the, the, the SI... The SI have her. What? Pip. Please. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Um... And then upon hearing that, I'm just going to say, okay, um, all right, we've got things we need to talk about real quick. Um, I'm going to give him, and I can't remember, the information's in there, I'm going to give him my contact. As far as I, yeah, the contact. They turned around and said they were innocent. I, and I want it, any information extracted as brutally as possible. I want to find out why Billy was taking Zane. And you've gone SI, and I've gone I've got to go. Um, this, I got, I got things to set up. I've got to get home. Leave, leave a contact. Uh, Zane, you got contact details, yeah? Actually, no. Rather than give it to Zane, I'm going to give. Me, give, give me I'm going to give it to details. Jackson. I'm going to give him the non-burner phone that I have for my home. Okay. All right. Um, Jackson, I, I was, yeah. I will, I will say this, and I don't take things lightly. I'm pissed off that this has happened. I'm pissed off that Marco didn't tell us that you were involved. That should so never you have happened. Know that Marco didn't know. This is one of your own business things that he didn't involve. Just to let you know, don't be pissed off at Marco. This was an undercover operation. This was to try and get the port open. I need that port open. And we've got no we've got no access outside to the sea. That's what I've been working on. That is my... So you think this is tied into what's happened with the attack on Prince Taylor? I can't see. When the bullet hit, it wasn't going for me. It was going for her. Which is why you've got the information from me to begin with. Come on. But I'm... I've given him... And I'll... Uh, you've given the name of the person. Yeah, I, <laughs> no, my, yeah, yeah. I'll feed you the name, Jackson. It's, yeah. It's in the yeah, um, I'll say, I want it done as brutally as possible. I want the information. Why did he lie to me? How did he get this information? I want this because if it's coming through his contact, I need to know who else up further in my chain do I need to question. My suggestion to you is you tell I've no already... one anything any further than what you've discussed here tonight until we can get <laughs> more information. Oh, I don't answer to anyone except for Marco or Leslie. I'd, I wouldn't even say anything to them right now. This this goes a lot higher than I think it is. And the less people that know anything, the better. Well, like I said, I'm loyal to the Camarilla and loyal to Leslie. Marco just happens to fit into the scheme. And that's right. where you'd like to know where my loyalty lies. That's where it lies. That's all I needed to know. Okay. Now... I've given you the information, all the information that I have. You said Mary and Cy, right? She's missing. I know she's missing. Apparently, the Cy has her. Yeah, her abbot told me. I've been tasked to find her myself. Yeah, we don't have much information based on what Pip saw. Mm -hmm. uh, Pip is new, he's young. Still mm -hmm. trying to find his feet. Now, as you've told me, or requested of me not to say anything, I request of you not to say anything about Mary Wade. It's an imperative that no one else knows. Any information that we get via Pip, send directly to you. 
I appreciate it. And if I find anything else, I will send it to you. Can I have your tech? I'd rather not ring saying, please just give me your tech. <laughs> uh, contact my company. Okay. As long as it goes to you. It'll come it's... directly to me. Fine. Um, I need to go. And then I'm going to walk out and drive. Sweet. Sierra, just one question. The phone you handed <coughs> to um, to tell him to look up Mary Way, whose phone was that? From someone from a lot, from um, a job that I'd done the night before. <coughs> okay, sweet. It's I don't know who it, um, I haven't worked out personally who it is, but just from a job I'd done the night before. I've got this phone. Sweet, is. I'll just make a note of that. And that's someone who would know Mary Wade? Uh, possibly. Um, they kept right. saying something about Mary, Mary, quite contrary. And I, that's why I wanted the phone. So. Okay, cool, cool. I'll check that out. Note that down here and sort. Okay, you guys watch as Sarah exits. She gets in her car and heads off. Is Aaron, you've been quite quiet. Is there anything you want to say? We're just about to wrap it up. I don't trust her. I don't now fucking can, trust her. Can I play the video? Yeah. What, well, uh, how about you just tell us what the video had? This, what What was on it? Bang. Two snipers taking pot shots at Vampire and Thin Bloods. Billy and Jenny? Yep. Where? Right. Date on the video and, or anything like that? Is there a timestamp? So you guys, uh, Zane, you would have seen the timestamp. Yeah. It, it was around that sort of midnight mark and it was in the city of Yarra. So outside of Melbourne, Sabat territory, city of Yarra. Uh, do we have a uh, date or time frame? Uh, yeah, it was about four weeks prior to this. Yep. So a month ago. A month ago in Yarra. Kind of so... corroborates the Sabat story, doesn't it? Little. Why isn't the Camarilla telling her and then us the information that we need to yeah, do the I'm, job? That's really doing my head in. I think it's because she's on another job and it's kind of just ended up crossing paths. I yeah, think but Sheriff, Sheriff Marco, if he doesn't know what she's up to, that puts us in a bad position. Because this sort of shit can happen again. Would be, uh, we're doing something that he wants us to do, and we cross over with something she's fucking doing, and people get killed that aren't supposed to get killed. I don't enjoy being shot at. Maybe sheriff's involved. Maybe the sheriff isn't privy to all of Prince Taylor's doings. Clearly. Pip, do you have anything you're doing before uh, we wrap it up? Uh, Pip's going to walk up to Echo and whisper in her ear, Should I look for Billy? Like, look for Billy. Oh, well, if you do what you <coughs> feel is natural to your gifts, Pip. Nah. So he's, he's going to try and have a permission. I don't know whether you want to say that for... Yeah, yeah um, so what, you, what are you going to do to forward your premonition? Um, I'm going to think about when I rip that thing out of his leg. <laughs> right. Awesome. Well, we'll, we'll, start, we'll start somewhere about there next time. But yeah. first, last of all, Jackson. Yes. Phone goes. Yep. You look down. It's the sheriff, Sheriff Marco. He's calling okay. you. I'll put it on speaker. Jesus Christ, Jackson. Elysium is supposed to be a fucking safe zone for all kindred. Something's happening. There's been shots here. It's a lone gunman here. The fuck? Another another firebomb has gone off. We were just getting... We had the Coterie and Leslie in the fucking car. We had a decoy car as well. We didn't even get out of Elysium car park. It's meant to be common and safe grounds for Kindred. This is twice, twice in like three nights that someone has broken these damn rules. The Did coder said that Leslie was utilizing his abilities to avoid this onslaught, but... Did he get uh, away? I've called... So, to who get away? Did, 
Prince get away? Yes, is, is yes. Is he safe? Yeah, he's safe. We're gonna we're Fuck. we're on our way to Sarah's place, her safe haven. Well, she's just left <sighs> here. Um, Look, I've I've called in favors to keep the cops away for now. We've cordoned off the fucking area. We need sake. the hounds to meet tomorrow night. We're running out of time tonight. I'm getting Leslie safe. This is absolutely fucking unbelievable. Someone is really out of the fucking bounds. Um, I've got Jeremy, Tim. You guys know him as Tim. I've got Jeremy with me. We're going to go to Sarah's safe space. Don't tomorrow. tell us where it is. I don't want to know. Best we don't know right now. All right. We should we actually. It'd be safer actually to meet. Oh, I don't even know because Elysium's not safe. Uh, no, we'll meet us. We can organise to meet at my haven in due course. It's safe. All right, your it's haven. It's like a fortress. You know that. Yep. We'll meet at your haven tomorrow night. First thing. I want Billy. I want Billy there. I want Jenny there. I'll bring Tim. And Leslie. We're gonna make this. We're gonna make these motherfuckers pay. Bring them all. We're gonna get answers. And then you guys are gonna do some hunting. Roger that. Right, and he hangs up without saying goodbye, and I that's where we're going to call it. Did my guys turn up in that in that time as well? And set the uh, perimeter? Sorry, yes, I did forget to mention that. Yep. Yes, they are. You you would have seen your team arrive not long after you did, and they yep. were outside the building. So uh, make sure they get a text to set up a set up a perimeter. No one else gets gets in or out without um, me knowing about it. Sweet, and Pip will lead the show next week with your premonition before everyone heads to the uh we'll, we'll we'll basically end the night and start the new night yep. hopefully magic you'll be able to make it next week <coughs> but the only thing jackson would do before the end of any of that is just at the end of that he'd walk up to zane and just grab his nose and give it a little twist just for a good measure right uh so around the table <laughs> Uh, we'll just get we'll get one moment from everyone as we normally do, and we'll just we'll keep it short tonight, just with one. Starting with I'm going to go around backwards tonight. Pip, starting with Pip. Uh, everything it had to do with Zane. It was just like a combination <laughs> of things. And Trashy's cat. Trashy's cat just hanging around. <laughs> Zane's combination and Trashy's cat. Sarah. Um. Probably the destruction of the book comments because I feel that in my soul. <laughs> That's probably my biggest ones. Oh, I reckon that's my favorite bit. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it made me laugh as well. Aaron. Uh, when when Pip said, "Oh, who would do that to the book? Be such a monster to the book?" <laughs> <laughs> While this, you know, people's heads are being blown off in the, in the background. <laughs> Yeah, many what? pit moments. Yeah, He's on the board Oblivious. <laughs> Echo. <coughs> Another pit moment. Are you here for the Mad at Zane party? That's really good. <laughs> yeah. Zane. Uh, well, well, for me, this one, Zane can't get anything right at the moment. Can he? <laughs> yeah, poor Zane. I feel for the guy. Yeah, he definitely put himself in a bad spot. <laughs> She scared me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and Jackson. Uh, mine's a pit moment as well. Freaking, when they're watching the videos, uh, when the all the stuff at the birth sort of dissipated and we disappeared when all this raises. Freaking, I hate cliffhangers. <laughs> Left on <laughs> yeah. a cliffhanger. Oh, fuck's sake. Yeah, I had that written down too. Uh, <laughs> but um, uh, me, also too, Sarah. Just great. Yep. Good work. Yeah, it was good work from everyone. Good good role play. Good um everyone gets that chat in, so it's nice. Everyone gets to have a chat with each person. But um Sarah's yelling down the mic. That was awesome. That was Yeah, I'm glad I'm glad it clipped out for me because it was it clipped out to the point where it wasn't that loud. It was awesome. <laughs> but it was really great well acting. Done. Great <laughs> acting skills um thrown in there. But it was very cool. It was it was well in character. It just made things work. But yes, um <laughs> yeah, player of the night, man, Pip with some funny stuff. <laughs> Good work. Very minor, oh, yeah. very minor role from Pip tonight, but yes, very poignant every time he spoke. But we will lead with yeah, Pip's premonition before we swap nights. So if there's anything you guys want to do in the in-between time with the uh, one, two, three, so say two hours you have left, just let me know in the Discord. Otherwise, we will lead off with meeting at um, Jackson's safe haven 
next week. Um, thank you to Sarah, sorry, Mina for playing Sarah for us for the last couple of games. That was awesome. Definitely. Thank you very much. And we'll probably need magic next Sunday. We will need magic next Sunday. Are you available, magic? Magic. Yes, sir. Look at that. Yes. Magic is available. <laughs> he said all good. Yeah. <laughs> I did say all good earlier. Yep. I didn't see that. Uh, um, yeah, so, so awesome. <clears throat> so, guys, that is it from us uh, this week. We are going to uh, raid somebody. I don't know who. Who we got on tonight? Do, do. Someone, someone in the chat choose choose a raid, guys. I've pretty much raided everyone on my my list that many times. I want to find someone different, someone new. So, if you got anyone on your list that you would like to raid, put it in the chat, and we will raid them before we finish up. But make sure you come back and see us on Wednesday for more Curse of Strahd um, with the return of Zadriel. Um, we will be using Foundry VTT on Wednesday night as well. So it'll be a little bit of a sort of teasing going over to Foundry, but hopefully we'll get through it without too many hassles. It'll be, we'll be starting pretty much with a combat. So um, we will definitely be uh, sort of feeling it out, but hopefully it should work. Um, I've been working on some uh, custom tokens for the players, just waiting. I think all I need is Adoc and Drax's stuff, and we're good for, good to go with that. But it should be good. It should be fun. Um, Monday night, tomorrow night, uh, we might do some, we might do some Conan or maybe some Diablo three tomorrow night. I'm not sure yet, but uh, we'll definitely be back tomorrow as well. Anyone got a raider? We can't raid Drax because he doesn't. I mean, list Drax is in a hot tub. That's it. I'm cancelling. I'm, I'm not doing this anymore. I don't have anybody. Uh, I, I, come on. <laughs> no, no one needs to be seeing that. So no one. No. Well, probably not. So anyone got a, anyone got a raider? Come on, someone, someone, give me a raid. Someone to raid. Anybody? As long as it's not a hot, hot tub streamer, I'm I'm okay with it. Oh, you got lost archives. He's currently doing Sea of Thieves with six viewers. Right, we raided him last week. Yeah, because that's all that's on. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday night, people don't really stream. Yeah, I mean, there's a few D and Ds normally. Ro Bears actually. Ro Bears on rerun as per usual. Uh, Dreaded GM. Uh, attack on Greek. Attack on Greek geek. A non D and Dier. That's fine. Uh, let's have a look at that. Back on a geek. I mean, a suggestion. What are they playing? He's playing Borderlands 3. Why not? Why not? Let's do that. All right, so we're going to raid attack on a geek. Uh, raid. So, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us again tonight. Appreciate it very much. Players, thank you for joining us for another week for some vampire goodness. And Mina, thanks for being a part of our show. And uh, we'll see you all next week for some more vampire stuff, Wednesday night for a different type of vampire stuff and gaming stuff during the week. So we will see you guys later.